Satechi booth with Ellen Jacobson, and I was just talking to Ellen about how when I'm doing an interview with someone, it's a little difficult to get them to hold still. When I shove the mic in their face, like so, they have a tendency to back up. So I said, hey, you know, a friend of mine takes his backpack like this, and he plops it right behind him to hold him still, and, and right away Ellen goes, oh, is that oh, Chuck? That's Chuck. That's yeah. Chuck. <laughs> I was just talking to Chuck, and yep, he did that. That's a, that's a good tip for anybody who's making videos out there. That's a really good idea, because I he yep, like, right now I'm very trapped. I can't go anywhere. Can't go anywhere. <laughs> you feel kind of creeped out, but that's oh. okay. <laughs> no, it's all right. I told him he wouldn't get any trouble with Chuck, but that was pretty funny. So since none, none of you guys would ever listen to Chuck's show, we're going to do it all again. <laughs> Don't get me in trouble with him. <laughs> no, 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 no. Chuck's a great guy. All right, so uh, Satechi, what are you guys uh, showcasing here today? So we've got a pretty wide variety of things. So right now... Let me get this backpack out of your way. Oh, no. <laughs> So basically our philosophy with all of our products that we have is having uh, all of our products available in uh, silver, gold, space gray, and rose gold, which of course uh, complements the different accessories that are the uh, MacBook Pro and the iPhone and the iPad. So, oh, great. We love that. Yeah. We love our stuff to match. Yeah, exactly. So aesthetically you can kind of be cohesive with accessories when you're getting them from Satachi. So I guess I'll just go down the line here. So we've got like an aluminum power strip. All these products are aluminum. So this is our aluminum power strip. So it has four outlets, four USB ports. Ooh, that's beefy. Yeah. That's that's pretty nice. Yeah, just a solid. Uh, it's, it's so that you. A lot of the times you're using a power strip to kind of uh, charge USB devices anyway. So this is perfect for. You can have some additional ports at the bottom there. Just use those to charge your iPhone and then appliances or whatever whatever else you need. Can you just get probably not in. your travel unit, but for your home unit. Right? Yeah, definitely. This is definitely something you want to keep at the home. Okay. And then What's next? Moving down here. So we make uh, in addition to accessories for the iPhone and MacBook, we have some stands. So right now, we've got this uh, USB headphone stand. So this plugs uh, from the headphone stand to the computer. You can use this uh, to plug your wired headphones in with a three and a half millimeter jack here. And then you can plug peripherals in here. Has a USB cable organizer on the back. And then, uh, yeah, it's just a great place to store your headphones. Oh, that's actually a terrific idea. So you've got a USB hub. You are also got you've got your audio out, and you've got a place to hang your headphones. Exactly. I basically wad mine up and throw them in a drawer, and it's not that elegant. It seems nowadays people have a lot nicer headphones, and they have like a very, very style and form factor to them. So, speaking of style and form factor, these are actually our headphones. But if you if you have that those nice stylish headphones, why wouldn't you want to display them, you know, prominently? So you can have those to kind of like to accessorize your desk with. So for the audio listeners, he's holding a really beautiful pair of uh, headphones, nice squishy soft uh, ear pads, and the uh, soft squishy over the head part, yep. and then beautiful silver cylinders on there. I assume you can get them in rose gold to match your rose gold. That you can. In fact, let me. I can bring that over here. Get back okay, now those are adorable. The foam is now white, so they look like really cute earmuffs. Exactly. Yeah. So can I get you to put them on? Look. No, I'm yeah, kidding. I, think. I don't mind. I don't mind. I'm rocking them. There you go. Oh yeah. You know what? That really is you, Alan. That that that, that brings out the, the pink in your eyes. All right. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Pink in my eyes. That was gross. I didn't even think hear it when I said it. <laughs> well, yeah. So these are. We get a lot of compliments on these. Though so the price point for these is seventy dollars, and we think that they are competitive with even headphones that are hundred dollars more than that. So. Are those Bluetooth or USB? They are Bluetooth, uh, micro USB rechargeable, and they also, uh, when the battery dies, you can actually they include a three and a half millimeter cable that you can use you can use them as wired headphones even with the battery dead. Oh, so. that's a really good idea. So you know you've got it if you need it. Yeah, exactly. If latency is a problem in a, in a specific application, you just plug them in. Right? Sure, and in, in something like this, in CES, there's a lot of Bluetooth uh, interference going on because so many people are using Bluetooth devices. Something like that would be a nice way to just kind of plug in and you're good to go with just a wired set of headphones. So. That's right. It'd be nice if you had a headphone jack on your iPhone. But anyway, moving on. <laughs> yeah, no, kidding. no kidding. Keep your dongles with you. Yeah. All right, what else we got? Here. So moving down the line, we have another variation of the headphone stand. This is just, we call this the slim headphone stand because it doesn't have any of the frills, just a nice, elegant stand. All right. I see another dock there I'm look, liking the looks of. Oh, uh, is this one right here or this yeah. one? This one. So this is our, this is a nice, this is actually uh, building on one of the designs of one of our original products, which was just a four port USB hub with that slant that the uh, Apple keyboard used to have, and you can see kind of like the... Yeah, the beautiful cylinder on the Yep, yep, yeah, exactly, really exactly. So this is a version that just has three USB 3.0 ports, SD card slot, and micro SD card slot. So good good That's place perfect. to nice. use all of your peripherals. 
Then coming over here, we've got this is our new one of our newest products, our smart charging stand. So this takes an external power plug, and if you open it, you can see that it has all these adapters in here. So, so this is a square, like half the size of a Kleenex box, and it looks like it might take an, app, an Apple Watch on top. That We're not there yet. I don't want to lead the witness. So this is actually that. It doesn't come with the Apple Watch charging cable, but this is the Apple Watch adapter. So if you thread the cable through here, down through the base, and store the cable inside there, you can see there's an internal USB port. Oh, nice. And what that does is it lets really you... Really clean. Yeah, exactly. And you can store these adapters in here, but it lets you... If you like not to use these USB ports on the bottom, it's just like no wires besides the external power to set your Apple Watch on Basically, there and you're good for charging. And you can have it in uh, nightstand mode there too. Yes, absolutely. Yes, you can. Just have it draped over there. And this also comes with a, an adapter for the Fitbit Blaze as well as uh, smartphones. And we recommend Lightning smartphones, but you could probably fit a micro USB charger in there too. And it'll just stand up right there, display either your smartphone, Basically. Apple Watch, or Fitbit Blaze. All right, I'm going to start speeding you up, but I okay. want to uh, I want to know what this is. We've got a disc. It looks like a uh, looks like a uh, what do you call a coaster for your drink? Yeah, well, you probably wouldn't want to use that for it, lest you uh, spill water on it. But this is yeah, our wireless charging pad, compatible with fast charge uh, for QI. So any uh, QI compatible smartphone that you have. So known as Qi. Yes. Oh, is that what? Because a lot of people call it Qi. Oh, okay. Well, I'm no linguist. I don't know. Well, now, well, now I know. So, <laughs> anyway, so it's compatible with that format, so you are able to charge any compatible smartphone with that, and just real slim form factor. So that, uh, unfortunately, the iPhones don't have that, but uh, I think you can get cases that do Qi charging. That you can, and this is compatible with any any Qi charge compatible uh, phone. So. Okay. Ooh, a number keypad. Yeah, this is for Dorothy. My friend Dorothy won't get a new key keyboard because she has to have a number keypad. Well, this is perfect because this is the same height, same slope as the Apple keyboard. This looks perfect next to it. It lines right up. It just, it, it's literally a continuation of it. All right, if she's good, I'll get her one for Christmas yeah, next year. <laughs> Don't quote me on that. And then moving on down here, this is just a nice, handsome mouse pad. It's not a trackpad. We get that question a lot. But <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's an eight and a half by eleven trackpad, yeah, right? There you go. But this so it's about how big they are in the MacBook Pro now. Oh yeah, they they got pretty big. Yeah, they're doing all sorts of crazy stuff with the MacBook and MacBook Pro, which works out for us because we get to make some really cool stuff for them. There you go. And then so yeah, just a mouse pad over here. Okay. You got a little stand for the uh, MacBook. There? So this is a laptop stand. Collapses so it fits really easily into any bag. Oh, nice. That's really clean. Really clean. It's got some nice rubber on there. Things aren't slipping around. Exactly. Yep. So it just sets your MacBook or MacBook Pro or any laptop that you want to use. And then unfolds like this. That's perfect. All right. Well, I think we can say with certainty that you've got one of everything here. I'm gonna just kind of I'm gonna guess that this is a uh, a USB uh, charge a little battery pack. This is actually a Type C uh, HDD and SSD enclosure. So oh you can, okay. You, you can put your SSD in here and have take advantage of the 10 gigabit per second uh, Thunderbolt transfer rate of, of Type C. Oh. Yeah. So or actually, it would probably be the Thunderbolt transfer rate that, that you'd be getting. Oh, is that right? I think, yeah, because USB-C is a form factor, but uh, but it's Thunderbolt 3 is the... What? Do you talk about USB drives? T well, Type-C is actually double the transfer rate of USB 3.0 compared to compared to uh, 3.0. You have to go look that up. All right. We'll have a, we'll have a bet about it later. Okay, you, you you're probably right, but I like to argue, so that's fun. There you go. All right. All right. And now and you've, got, you've got one of those things the doctor shoves in your ear to see if you've got near yeah, infection. That that's is exactly nice. right. Or it also doubles as a vent mount, so you can st uh, store this in your car's air vent. Put this in the back of your phone and then just place it as a vent. Just leave this in your car and then anytime you need to mount your phone in your oh, car. it's a magnet? Yes. Oh, okay. it's, a, it's magnetic. Yes, that's exactly. For a second it was Qi charging, but that's a magnet. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. That'll oh, be a very a small nice one. thin disc. That, yeah. That's that's really thin. Now, I might actually stick one of those on my phone. I'm pretty picky about what I'll stick on my phone. So, ah. yeah. And it actually, that one has a sticker on it, but there's actually one without a sticker that's a little bigger that kind of, here, I can actually pop this off here. All right, he's taking his phone uh, phone case off. Oh, you just put it inside? the phone yep, case. Oh, I would totally do that. Yeah. So it's, it's like uh, thinner than a credit card oh, and yeah. a little piece of metal. You stick it inside your uh, case. Throw it, just throw it in there. And it doesn't scratch up the back of your phone. Uh, oh, we'll no, take a I mean, mine's just scratched up anyway. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I don't even keep, keep a case, case on my phone, yeah. so I'm all right. Uh, 
so yeah. Very so nice. Okay, well, I want to do one more thing, and I okay. think the thing I don't know what it is is this uh, cylinder here. Absolutely. Looks so like I'm going to go do some vaping or something with this. What is that? You were not the first person to say that today, actually. Man, I got no original material. <laughs> no, I said it brings out the pink in your eyes. I bet I was first with that. Uh, yeah, that you were. I'll okay, give you good. that one. <laughs> so this is our uh, Bluetooth uh, presenter. So this changes slides and uh, has a laser pointer as well. Micro USB rechargeable, obviously Bluetooth connection. So this is just good hand feel. It's really great for making presentations, compatible with Mac, uh, Windows, uh, Android, iOS, and compatible with Keynote and PowerPoint. So wow. just a good good thing to have in the bag if you're making a lot of presentations. So, so we've only made it through about three quarters of the stuff here, but I think you can basically say if you want an accessory to go with your Mac or your iPad or your iPhone that's going to sit on your desk and look pretty or go with you and look pretty, that you can get that from Satechi. Absolutely. You absolutely can. So yeah, we make just everything you can think of for the for iOS, for MacBook, for iPads, iPhones, the new MacBook Pro. We've got a new hub coming out later in quarter one, so Ooh. we'll be, you want to see that? We'll have to go check that out. We'll, we'll check that out after we cut here, but uh, so what's the website we're going to go to? We're going to be going to satachi.net. That's S-A-T-E-C-H-I dot net. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Allison.